Authorities say alcohol flowed from the mouth of a suspected drunk driver accused of killing a family of three when paramedics tried to revive her after a vehicle crash in Ohio. Law enforcement said Abby Michaels, 21, was driving the wrong way in Sunday's fatal collision where Timmy Thompson, 51, and his daughter, Tessa Thompson, 10, died at the scene. The girl's mother Karen Thompson, 50, passed away later at Kettering Hospital. According to a report, Michaels crossed over the median on the I-75, turned around and headed north in the southbound lane around 8. 10 p.m. Michaels was driving via the paved turnaround restricted for authorized and emergency vehicles a police report said, noting a northbound witness saw a white sedan pull a U-turn area of the median. The incident which resulted in the deaths of the Warren County family is being investigated as a vehicular homicide. Michaels was believed to have earlier on March 17 celebrated St. Patrick's Day as she was wearing a festive St. Patrick's Day shirt, multiple green, plastic shamrock necklaces and she had a temporary tattoo on her right cheek of an apparent beer mug. Moraine police discovered a large cup in her bag with a Fireball Whiskey logo on it and first responders noted a frothy fluid coming from her mouth when they tried to make her breath which the medics identified as beer. A 911 caller was reported as saying, I'm pretty sure no one survived. It is awful. Michaels was in serious but stable condition in Miami Valley Hospital Wednesday. Michaels was listed as marrying Kyle Pastor L in June 2018 but just two days before the crash he filed for divorce. Writing on the Knot website before their Washington courthouse, Ohio nuptials, Abby said, I met Kyle in high school just before the summer of 2013. I was a freshman and Kyle was a junior. After some back-and-forth compliments, Kyle gave me his number and we began to develop a friendship. We spent the summer swimming, going to Kings Island, hanging out with our families and growing ever closer. We've been together five years now, and I absolutely cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with my best friend. Those listed among her six bridesmaids, maid of honor and matron of honor had pictures from last summer's ceremony on their social media pages. Local resident Steve Cedolode said the crash looked so horrific, he didn't recognize the family's Camry. It was so bad the road was closed for four hours after what Cedolode described as the big tragedy. Karen was a tremendous teacher and her work had a huge impact on many families, said Frances Russ, communications officer for the Cincinnati Public School District where she worked as a disabilities teacher at Taft Elementary told Dayton Daily News. All of us will miss her. God, it's believed the trio was returning from visiting her family in Northern Ohio. Mason City Schools sent counselors to assist children as they learned ST. Susanna School student Tessa was killed. Their spokeswoman Tracy Carson said Tessa was a bright light who had a great effect on students and staff, adding it's a tragic loss for all who knew her. Father Timmy Thompson is survived by his grown-up son who was not in the vehicle at the time.